I have great news for you. Your new favorite rules light dungeon crawler has just been released. It is all the new hotness. Unlike the other rules light dungeon crawlers, this is special. This might be the first game to ask, what if there was a small no frills version of either the 1974 release of Dungeons and Dragons, or maybe even the basic version released from 1977 to 1983? Well, not exactly a version of those. This is far, far more pared down. It's back to the basics here. You thought the original OSR texts were small? All the skin and fat removed from that game, nothing but the bones. You know that five room dungeon idea you've had for a while? The one you've been sitting on? The dungeon for some version of Fantasyland. Well, now you have the perfect thing for your generic fantasy game. Well, maybe your game isn't generic fantasy, but luckily it's so small and light that you can easily make it less generic if you just put some work in. Besides, if you just say that the dungeon you are writing is for use with any RPG of the sort, it all works out fine. Rules Light Dungeon Crawlers fill a similar niche, in my mind, to a fast food burger. You know exactly what you're getting into when you pick up one. Sure, the specifics of what you are going to enjoy are different, but it's fundamentally the same formula. There are no real risks in some simple house rules based around a very specific vibe. That's all it is. These games, by their very nature, are designed to be interchangeable. When you order a burger from a drive-thru, it doesn't really matter what exact one you're at. It's going to be a fast food burger, perfectly serviceable to fulfill your beef lust. Some may be more to your taste than others, but they'll all do the same thing. Now, obviously, the factors leading into this interchangeability are very different in both cases. People writing minimalist OSR hacks to upload onto Itch and drive through are not McDonald's or Wendy's or whatever. What do we have, though, when it's all said and done? We still have to look around and see what they are. They're disposable and meaningless by design. If it is a game that is interchangeable with any other minimalist indie RPG about being a dungeon, why make it? It obviously isn't the best of its kind, because if it was, there would be no reason it would be interchangeable with every other one in existence. Obviously, it's not about filling an empty niche. Games about being in a dungeon are a dime a dozen. What we have left is that these sort of things are business cards or portfolios. They're an excuse for someone to show off that they are perfectly capable of creating competent work in a bite-sized format. It works. What could you ask for? It's a Big Mac. They prove they can make a Big Mac as well as anyone else. They can show off their illustrative abilities, their slick graphic design, or some other skill as part of making a perfectly acceptable bare bones game with all the soul removed. If system does not matter, why make yet another system that you know deep down is replaceable by anyone else? We don't need another new rules light dungeon crawler usable for any generic fantasy game. Make shit weird and make weird shit. The last thing we need is another generic game.